All right. right. Hello, everyone, and welcome here to beautiful Bungie HQ in scenic Bellevue, Washington. Uh, my name's Andy, and I'm going to be your host today. And today we have the distinct opportunity to go ahead nice and show off some brand new stuff coming in Destiny 2 Into the Light. But fret not, I won't be the only one going ahead and telling you about it. I'm joined by three members of the Destiny development team who we'll go ahead and introduce here right away. Starting directly to my left, Mr. Tom Farnsworth, how are you doing today? Great. Thank you, Andy. I am uh, doing great. I had coffee. Yeah. Breakfast on the way here. I'm Me little, too. Ready to go. It's yeah. To share. Uh, all the great work the team has done yeah. uh, the, the past many months. And uh, just, just for context about me, yeah. I'm the, uh, the creative lead on Into the Light, and I'll be here with you the next few weeks to talk about it. Looking forward to it. Yeah, we've got a lot of fun stuff in store. And of course, we're joined by senior narrative designer, Mr. Jerome Viernich. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. Also had coffee. Nice. I'm, everyone the having coffee. <laughs> while right. screaming at passing cars. So. Quite a drive-in as well. And for yeah. the folks at home who may not know you as well yeah, as we've had and, the opportunity to... And they separated to, this to, in to three streams, so like... Days. Uh, who are you and what do you do here I, at Bungie? I, I, I have no idea why they're doing it like that, but okay. If you hear a character well, say I guess we'll find out why. read it on screen, one of us typed it into a tiny little box Exciting. at some point months before. Hanging out with Excel lots these days? Absolutely. There it is, Tiny words, tiny boxes. That's me. It's an important tool, obviously. Absolutely. And, of course, last but very not least, one of the most deadly I've ever seen to rock the thumbsticks, especially in these past couple days, the one and only Mr. Noah Lee, activity designer here on Destiny 2. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Noah Lee. I'm an activity designer on Destiny 2 Into the Light. And Please tell me we have a horde mode. Us to Onslaught, Activity. So all the really cool things that we have in store. I'm a long time player. I've been playing since Destiny 1. And as a player turned dev, I'm excited to show off all the stuff we have Activity. planned. Activity! I'm just so excited to see what's awesome. going on. Awesome. Well, hey, welcome. You guys, thank you so much for taking time to join us. To everyone in chat, I see a lot of activity in there as well. Thank you very much for taking the time to join us today as well. But yes, today we're going to go ahead and kick things off by looking at Onslaught, which is a brand new activity coming in, coming in Destiny 2 into the light. Uh, for those of you out there that are Twit enjoyers that had a chance to go ahead and see what we've been posting the last week, uh, we went ahead and released some key art last week that is now up on screen. You can see here... Uh, there's a lot going on here. So let's go ahead well, and yeah, start. Well, yeah, duh. Can you tell us a little bit about what Onslaught is? They're just, they're yeah, just, so Onslaught is wait. a new uh, three-player activity that, that, that's the, kind of the core of Into the Light. It's, a, uh, it's available to all players. Yeah. And you can kind of see in this, this key art, like this is a kind of aspirational view of what Onslaught is in-game. Yeah. It's a, it's a new uh, wave defense uh, activity. Uh, so like it, a horde it, mode. It takes inspiration from a, you know, a lot of modes we, we, we've looked at like in other games and our games yeah. through, throughout our, our kind of history. And you can see here you're, you're in the last city. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm really excited. The Heal Tower. Are we going to talk about like, that? <clears throat> Guardians are going to be able to hop into this space and, you know, defend the last city and, you know, eventually take the fight uh, to the Witnesses' forces here. And you can, yeah. you can kind of see uh, like, you know, you got our three Guardians that they're kind of ringed in defenses. Yeah. You also got like the pyramids in the sky. That's right, yeah. And there's even some like kind the of Dorito ships. performing going on in the background in there. In the city itself too, yeah. Honestly. Yeah, and they are at our doorstep. And there's a few other locations too where we'll, maybe we'll talk about There's later. a lot of shriekers. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I don't like so, that. You know, also too, Jerome, we are, this is, you know, not the first time obviously we've ever had to go ahead and defend ourselves on our own turf, but never quite like this before. Our heels are dug in. We're Listen, in the last city. Right I love now. looking at the piece of art. So, but can we see the game? The Forces of the Witness have been closing their vice grip mm -hmm. around the soul system. The Witness is inside the Traveler doing nefarious deeds, enacting the final shape. Right. Time is on its side. Yeah. Yes. We have worked Watching their favorite with, shows on uh, Netflix magics, inside the rituals, Traveler while Crow is also with, stuck uh, in there. old foes in order to send someone through the portal and uh, establish a bridge, and we chose Crow. Yeah. yeah. Now, until and we're busy playing Guardian Games fighting over who is going to be the yeah. best class of Crow. The Witness, like, of course, will do everything that it can to keep us on <laughs> this side of the portal, Understand. which means unleashing yeah, every bit no, of its resources, it's every like, uh, part of its power oh, against us to keep us pinned yeah. in the last city. Um, so this is about breaking out and uh, discovering new power, yeah. right? Sharpening ourselves, yeah. finalizing our builds, and getting some new toys so that we can face down the witness. Oh, right. new toys! You mean the <laughs> old ones so brought back? back. But I'm so happy right? about that. Absolutely. Where some see calamity, Shaq sees opportunity. Yeah. And he is going to be opening up his arsenal for us to uh, enjoy. I think we'll hear about that next week, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh. yeah, he'll be your vendor, and uh, I'm really excited for players to hear from him. Awesome. As someone we don't get to talk about well, weapons so today. More time with Shacks. Inspirational, to say the least. Absolutely. Uh, and high volume. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> it's the best part of him. Just throw more grenades. 
Oh, reminder to everyone. Never go wrong. May it, yeah. may it be a hint to us all. Uh, and of course, no, there's a lot also too going on here. I see turrets. I see other activity defenses. Uh, obviously, we're going to jump into some gameplay here. Oh, but thank goodness. Before we do, tell us a little bit about what we're going to see when we dive yes, into some onslaught look, here. This is fine yeah, art. So it's, something that's look, really as you can see, cool about onslaught the paint compared to a lot of our activities on the picture. Is the like turrets. Tom it's like we've seen it's not this. Offensive. It's a defensive. Our goal is to defend the ADU or advanced yeah. defense unit, which allows us to build our defenses like turrets, tripwires, decoys. And the main goal is to make sure that that thing stays up for all of your waves that you're fighting mm. in. Yeah. And if that goes down at Wait. any point, regardless if you're on playlist, roll that back. What? Difficulty, your game will end. So yeah. the main goal is to keep your defenses safe. Build them up, upgrade them. Is it a defense get a horde game? game? Yeah. Sounds like difficult. Gears of War. Already dropping some hints. I like what I'm hearing. You know, uh, it sounds like, yeah, and that was horde. Really quickly, yeah, we had a lot of learnings from some of our activities in the seasons, like deep dives and the coil, where we know players <gasps> like when we yeah. escalate difficulty over time. Yeah, yeah. So screw the spikes though. Yeah, slide. you go from wave one to wave fifty, each one, each ten, escalating in difficulty as we're going to see in gameplay. I like what I'm hearing. Serves a really cool opportunity for players to test their builds yeah. and you know. The, the waves of enemies that we're fighting against are the whetstone by which we are sharpening ourselves. Excellent. Yes, build crafters, you're on notice. Be prepared for what's to come. All right, well, I say there's no time like the present. We are seeing a lot of requests in chat for gameplay. I think we can go ahead and dive on in. Game! Uh, game! Oh, Noah, would you mind returning to your throne world briefly to go... Give me game, game or get time. angry! Obviously, yeah, we got to get some time. Uh, in the meantime, really quickly, obviously with Onslaught being a brand new activity, we're going to kick things off in a very different way. Can that you tell was us a little bit about what we're going to see when we go ahead and start things off? Yeah, you're going to see it in the gameplay here in just a second, but uh, Onslaught is about kind of establishing a defensive kind of like beachhead in these contested territories where we're like trying to, you know, claw space back. A bit gassy today. Certainly. And we're going to see it in Midtown here in a moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, so players, you know, start off with you and two other maybe friends you, you've, you've found uh, uh, that, 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 that you, you play with all the time or maybe yeah. you match make you in with. And uh, you're going to uh, work, push forwards with Shax's Red Jacks yeah. that you're going to see here. You'll... Uh, establish a defensive area, you'll deploy the advanced defense unit, and then you'll start placing defenses. Yeah. Mm. As Noah said, there's, uh, there's turrets, there's trip mines, there's yeah. boys. This there's literally boys. sounds like how Gears of War yeah. Horde mode and, was uh, like. like to help once again. And you can, you can upgrade those too. Like the, yeah. the way the activity works is hey. you defeat enemies yeah. to collect scrap, yeah. Yeah, which is our, which is our, mm. our, our currency, mm. and then you can mm. to deploy these defenses. Mm. So you're going to have to be kind of selective. Like each of these mm. defensive locations can More be like around Gears of War. And oh, here we go. We oh, awesome. We already got some already. here. Yes. Gears so of War, yes. Here, <laughs> Literally, create a Gears of War. For our ADU, oh, uh, gameplay. Oh, oh my god, you actually get the little bots to help you. And as soon as we've cleared out the elixir that are here, where the fallen, uh, our ADU's here. As we see, we got some batteries in tow, and this begins our first really interesting part of this activity, which is our purchase phase. Killing enemies will grant you scrap, like we see in the top. That left. is Gears of War. Pick one of a suite of upgrades we have. Trip wires that you can buy for a thousand. Gears of War did this. Uh, this decoy, is so which is cool. Our we provide here and turrets. I know people are very curious about turrets. So I'm just going to buy this first. There we go. But we have uh, our lovely guests Clayton and Ashley who have helped create this activity in our playtest team. They're yep. with me helping fill out the fire team, and. Uh, they're building their defenses. It's always best to have some solid teammates. And also, too, uh, for the folks in chat noticing some weapons, uh, go ahead and, and just go ahead and observe everything you can possibly see on screen. Oh, it's okay. We, uh, oh, we're oh yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's is, it's, uh, it's like, not like we knew that that was coming back. Uh, but also, too, so, Jerome, we're here, obviously, going ahead and doing this for a reason, right? The ADU is here for a purpose. Can you help us understand a little bit about the role that plays in the defense that we're mounting against the witness? Absolutely. Um, when all of the Guardians and their allies enter the port to face down the Witness, mm -hmm. Earth will be essentially undefended. Yeah. So it's important that we establish solid defenses now um, and claw back as much territory as we can in advance yes. of our assault. I also want to just point out, uh, I know we're not going to be able to look at it and uh, we'll see the weapons next week, oh, yeah. but uh, we've got some beautiful new lore yeah. on those weapons. And so any of those lore hounds, make yeah. sure you check out those tabs. Yeah, it's, uh, we, we will be only uh, maybe looking at whatever happens to show up on the stream today, but yes, this is the... the, the oh my Muslim God, that is a lot of those. To go ahead and be more is this exploding this. shank we'll round? On that look at the, the, like, you but, see the uh, waves. Yeah, for those out there that are observing maybe some... some Previous Guardian favorite weapons out there. Oh my god, this is literally. Uh, You'll have lots of information to learn over the next coming <laughs> exploding weeks. Exploding yeah, shank around. There's just a bunch of them. That's it. Since we've been talking about. Please, yeah, yeah. As a whole, uh, as we're able to see, like, 
the ADU has a health over its head right here, and we have enemies in waves coming to try to defeat it. If you've been paying attention, we have high value targets that are mini bosses or oh well, boy overloads, which drop uh, these repair batteries. And for other attempted players, we can see that there are champions involved. So you know, bring your champion weapons. <laughs> Make sure that you are well uh, equipped for this. We have different waves and different augments, like we're seeing on wave three, yeah. that demand your immediate attention. Yep. We know Destiny players like to run and gun, so yes. we try to get you out of the space of the ADU sometimes, oh, thank, mm -hmm. so that you can you. Get those objectives to make sure that, oh yeah, I can explore Midtown and all these other spaces. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, also, yeah, this is map. literally, yeah, uh, uh, yeah it's Midtown. Well. For everyone to go ahead and check it it's, out. But it's, also too, actually, no, thank you, Noah, for checking that out. Uh, obviously, the pyramids have been busy in here helping to go ahead and mount So it's it's the PvP uh, map. Uh, I, I, I was about to call yeah, that out. I was like, this looks like Midtown. You can see even that little opening there. Um, but Jerome, this is these are pyramid ships in our own backyard that are going to go ahead and just try and terraform the city. Or can you help us learn what's going on here? Well, they don't have to do anything. I mean, the witness is doing what Wait a he minute. wants to do. And Did if you we see the reputation it, on the top right? Over. Yeah. So they really just need to. The reputation is called hype. Pinned. Um, <laughs> the witness is inevitable. There's no way we could kill, defeat every one of the witness's soldiers. Right. Uh, there's no way we could. You know, Yo. fight them one Yo, by one. Yo, can we get some plus ten hype in 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 the video game? Head on. Yeah. Inside plus the ten traveler. hype. Yeah. And uh, we'll do that soon. So also to you know, obviously getting go ahead and, and send players away from the ADU is pretty significant when it comes to accomplishing all of the tasks in front of you here in onslaught. But uh, Tom, can you tell us a little bit about the defenses as well? Like we, I think we see some trip mines up already set and ready to go. Yeah, you, um, you can see the the horizontal beams. Those are trip mines. As you upgrade them, the colors will change. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to do more damage and, and, and kind of fire off more trip mines charges. More charges. Uh, yep. And they get more in size. If you upgrade it, you'll go from one trip mine to two, as we see here, which mm is -hmm. really nice. I'm going. Oh, and then we've mine. also got the, the turrets. There. 19 months the turret left. Second. Oh, yeah. Uh, those as well. They, 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 when when oh, you yeah. can upgrade those three. Larry, thank you so much well. for the 19 months. They, they deal more damage. They get more health. Legend. Yeah. Uh, thank thank you. Also. Yep. And, and then we've also got... <laughs> Jack, can we get also, plus 10 hype in the chat? Mostly just gain health and change color a little bit. But the idea here is like each of these defensive locations, you're, you're, like we're going to kind of randomly pick yeah. the defenses for you to deploy. And it's up to you kind of to make the best choices and use your limited resources, yeah. the scrap that you're collecting, to, to, to make the best ch choices there. Because you're not mm. going to have all the currency you need right off the bat to like, you know, of de course. deploy everything and upgrade yeah. everything. You're going to have to be like, no, we want, maybe we want this turret. Or maybe, oh, they, they were, it seems like enemies are coming more from this direction. Maybe Do we, we move right, like yeah, to different locations? Like abilities, maybe in a different direction. Or maybe like after like ten ways or something. Yeah. 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 Something I want to bring up is we actually have a bonus objective going on right now. Okay. We have secondary objectives that occasionally appear uh, in waves, and this one is just to complete the wave within a certain amount of time. And if you complete that while you're defending the ADU, you got to make sure that's alive. You'll actually get a reward, which is a heavy ammo crate that will refill your ammo. When you get higher up in the waves and you get more difficult enemies and like larger waves of, of stuff, like that is definitely something you're going to be trying to get. <laughs> uh, and like 50 unstoppables and overloads? Like if you have a good team in the higher difficulties, uh, you're going to need a little bit more coordination. You might need somebody to go out and do the augments and somebody to go out and do the critical objectives. Yeah, and also too, so just to make sure, Tom, as well, this isn't the only ADU you are going to be defending in this activity. It moves around the map. I was about so, to say. As Noah said earlier, there's 50 waves in yeah. our, our, our challenge 50 version of waves! Okay. Uh, so uh, there's a the playlist version. Which I, is I was like, I could have swore I heard them say that, but easy, what quick, the flip? You hop into, you do 10 waves and you're done. And then there's the challenge version, which we're showing here. So there's <laughs> uh, 50 waves or, or, or five sets of 10 waves yes. uh, is how we like to talk about it. Mm. And... Uh, with each what? of those sets, you get to attack uh, too? move around the map between three different locations. Okay, got it. And so you'll you'll start at one ADU, you'll defend it, you'll take the fight to the witness for a little bit, you'll yeah. come back, and then you'll build up defenses more and then go fight a boss. Yeah. Which is okay. what we're seeing as well right now. Like we're on board a pyramid ship now, right? Yeah. This is a this is one of my favorite phases. Uh where instead of defending the ADU, we take the fight to them. I was and Yeah. See, that's cool. Light, it's time to run it down. A good defense is an offense. You know, <laughs> do a fun backflip. Let's hope I can you know, pull that off. 
Do the backflip. Yo, do the backflip. If you don't do the backflip, chat's gonna be very upset. I yeah, I will be better. very upset. Here, He's spaghetti. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh, do you get style <laughs> you points so too? Easy, Noah. Cause I'm just good. I'm not even like paying attention to like too <laughs> much on like the points and stuff. Well. I'm not gonna, 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 not gonna We're also on the first <laughs> set of waves. So. It's gonna get a little spicier later. The, yeah. the first few waves are first. Spicy. Uh, you know, kind of like training wheels. Right. Yeah. Cause you were saying too. There's there's a uh, a ten wave. I, I would laugh like when you get to like the fiftieth wave. It's like it's just a bunch of unstoppables. And overloads uh, just to piss you off. Session, I think that's definitely the place for you. Onslaught, in our experience from playtesting, is really easy to lose track of time and just mm -hmm. kind of keep going. You're all, you, you can always be like, you know, just one more wave, a few more, you know, a few more sets, and then you're like, dang, it's been an hour. Like, it's actually crazy. Oh. Yeah, no, yeah. I got a, I got a question. That, yeah, I mean, how that's pretty much how firefight and unlock new defenses. Here's war horde mode was like. You've already got. So it really is a risk reward thing. As we're seeing, like when you upgrade defenses, they will exponentially increase in price, which means that you have to make a decision every purchase phase. Like, do I want to save my money to potentially upgrade something down the line? Obviously you get all the sweeper bot decoys. To be upgraded, <laughs> or am I just gonna bite the bullet and buy something now that can help me immediately? My strategy usually is that in the first few waves, I will not buy anything to like just save up for later and usually my teammates will do something. Yeah. That's where communication comes in. If you just do that by yourself, I don't think your teammates will be very happy with you. As always, keeping the comms crisp is very important, especially to get those higher difficulty levels. Because, uh, yeah, we're just in the kind of the fledgling Keep the comms right crisp. Now, but, yeah, when we were doing... <laughs> nah, I just things, scream and yell everywhere. Effort. I hope we get to see... Uh, some more of the craziness we saw yesterday, but oh, I don't want to spoil anything for chat. Obviously, there's plenty to be discovered in this. Something I neglected to mention, which we've been doing yeah. this whole time, is uh, the ADU batteries will actually heal it, kind of similar to like Forges in the Black Armory from my, my real vets out there. <laughs> um, and the ADU, the enemies are naturally compelled to come over here and like attack it. They'll shoot it, they'll knife at it. But also, if there's any enemies that stay in the radius of the ADU, you see it'll turn red yeah. and damage will start to tick. So that's when you need to throw your ADU batteries in there and you'll get scrap for that. But if your ADU is full on health, you'll actually get three times the amount of scrap. So it's in your best interest to try to keep it as healthy as possible because you might be able to snowball your defenses. Interesting. So especially if you're really pushing for those. It's those a really cool concept, like I won't lie. Maybe it just behooves you to hold on. For the oh, yeah. Levels are so like your abilities and weapons. That they I just wish that this bit. was like a permanent it's like idea too. for like where we get more maps. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh look, there's the big, one of the bigger mobs big on the bad. Way. Yeah, here's one of our augments. Uh, just demolitionists. We get these huge ultras that come in and just they're beeline for the ADU. Yeah. Oh, so there's two the of them. Wave, they're not that difficult, but I promise you, wave 40, wave 50, these guys are tanky. They require a lot of attention. And we'll give uh, some credit in making it look easy as well. Yeah, I, I, like I said, you know, I'm just that guy. He's <laughs> been preparing for this moment. Uh, also, too, actually, let's talk a little bit of build crafting. What are you running right now, Noah? So I'm not, you know, I'm not treading new ground here. I'm a nice talker by heart. I got my Gerfalcons on. We actually, off screen, we're figuring out how it's pronounced. But Gerfalcons. I was about on, to so say, is it actually pronounced that? Me? I've been That's messing it up it. all the time. Um, doing that, I love Barry Blood. Like, wait, what? It's a great weapon. I thought uh, it was from like Dire Falcons or something. And, you know, I'm just doing that because we might see some tormentors. You know, who knows? Who knows? And I like precision. Oh, doing good. Because, Tormentors. You know, rockets aren't very effective. Like, see, over the past uh, day or so, as we've been getting prepared for the stream, I'll admit my, my jealousy for Buried Bloodline has only been growing. I'm a big fan of Graviton Lance. We get along very well. But I got to say, the precision that you've been getting out of, of Buried Bloodline makes me uh, upset that I haven't just gone ahead and buckled down and gotten the farming done to get that thing unlocked, honestly. I got yeah, it. So as we see, uh, we are actually in the pyramid again for the boss. We're taking the fight back to the Witnesses' forces. And this brings up a really interesting part of all of... What boss is phases thing? where instead of having immune oh, shields, just or immune fang phases, of the witness. <laughs> it was like, who is it? <laughs> increase your effectiveness against the boss. So, for example, this one is augmentation well. If you stand in these wells and defeat high value targets, you will actually deal increased damage to the boss for the rest of the fight. That's something because hmm. these are like, kind of like victory laps. Like you've survived against the ADU, it is time to just you're single interesting mechanic. The boss. Yeah. And it's getting melted. <laughs> Also, too, Whoa, really quickly, must, um, so must have been just, uh, we touched on there being uh, really a uh, weak fang. Versions, but, um, we got a question in chat from from. Doesn't have a lot of calcium. Um, is it random matchmaking? Do you get to bring your own fire team in? Both. So playlist is random matchmaking, or you can bring your fire team in. Yeah. And then I, I believe Obviously. the the challenge modes of which there was a normal version and like a, a hard version. Which yeah. Ooh, yeah. I was about to say. Uh, I, I believe that the, the the normal version is is match made. 
Um, we can correct on socials maybe for the second one. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think it's match made, but you, I, right. I think everything supports Fireteam Finder. Cool, awesome. Yeah, yeah obviously. Uh, and honestly, too, it, it never hurts to bring in your own GM crew if you're pushing 50 yeah. waves. No, uh, it, it, we, we definitely want you to communicate yeah. in, in that activity on the, on the upper end, especially. It's, you're you're going to have a much better time. Yeah, honestly. Realized, also, too, actually, like while we're kind of on that subject, on I remember it. something you mentioned <laughs> earlier was, so. you know, kind of one of the goals, I think, from a design standpoint you were mentioning was that it's kind of just easy to get lost in this activity. You know, the combat I sandbox did. that Destiny has, sometimes you just want to throw down and just <laughs> test new builds, go crazy, and this is something that really seems to facilitate that. Yeah, you, you I was, like, seeing my... Like, like, I was like, why do I see party here, animals like, in the, the back? We defeated the first set now. Mm -hmm. We're on the second set. I have like green uh, screen we're doing, like, on we're at a for new the defensive location thing. you can see here. That's near the river walk in uh, here. And like, yeah, we're gonna break the fourth wall. We uh, <laughs> we're developers, so we were able to change it to our other faction. It's not always going to be fallen. We have the hive that were shown prominently in our poster art. Oh, that's right. Yeah, for the uh, the nice. more keen eyes at home, they may have noticed that behind the scenes, the faction has changed. So uh, when when Jerome mentioned it earlier. Every single oh, one of the okay. at the, the, the witness's behest is going to go ahead and be a part of this fight, potentially. Or which ones are they, rather? Oh, or great. That means there's probably going to be scorn, run. then. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got Fallen ah. and uh, and Hive are yeah. going to be... No scorn. ...pressing the last city, but the Taken are definitely... Ah, uh, Taken, yeah. ...active elsewhere. Yeah. They're sort of... Ah, the, okay. They're so it's the scorn, right? For other purposes, yeah, which I won't, yeah. uh, other elements of the seasonal imagine. story. You're scorn are gone, we'll right? That obviously, uh, uh, uncover itself. That that on naturally. Wait, yeah, are we actually not? Have... Lore hounds out there to go. Are we not going to have scorn? Uh, Jerome, when, also too, when you're putting together a story like this, you know, obviously, kind of helping oh, us yes! realize what the no mission is. Like, what was kind of some of your inspiration <laughs> as you kind of looked at this activity and the opportunity it presented to the narrative team? We always start best with mode, the best mode characters. Ten out of ten. Emotions of the characters, from their perspective, how they would see things, how they would react. <laughs> um, and so that's what made Shaq's I thought they were going to say scorn is just falling alive. Good. Um, activity, it's so ferocious. Mm -hmm. We needed a. I was about to say, oh man, that's got a beefy shield. Never mind. Yeah. And so that's where we uh, where we came up with Shaxx. Yeah, Shaxx is like the perfect hype man on yeah. this, right? Literally, um, the hype so reputation. When you get later in the rounds, and he just kind of makes you feel like you can keep going. <laughs> Don't I mean, jinx it, goal, yeah, on right? the, the scorn, yeah. And it's going to be like the round, like wave 50, you deal with scorn. He's been preparing us for this. That's what the yeah. Crucible yeah. is for. No, and that's a great way to look at this. The Crucible is, is, is preparing, you know, fighting other Guardians to sharpen ourselves to, 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 you know, to fight a war. And this is just fighting a war. Yeah, honestly, this is what we've been sharpening ourselves for, you know, yeah. this is that moment. Uh, also, too, kind of in that theme, uh, we got a question from Cozy Spartan in chat. Are there any other weapons that are coming back? As a quick reminder, we're going to, this is the first of actual three, or actually three streams as well. So next week, we're going to be talking about that. So make Dang sure you mark your calendar. You tried your event. best. Uh, today, this is just a taste of Onslaught and kind of a, a first look at what's to come in the brand new activity. Joining us with Destiny 2 Into the Light. Out of Dang money, it. Broke. No. I mean, at least they, they confirmed, obviously, I the midnight coup. But <laughs> I suppose I spent it all on these two turrets, which have been performing pretty well, actually. Yeah. I, I, I'm a person, I prefer to upgrade a few things because their effectiveness is uh, you know much more heightened when you upgrade it. So... I feel like if you all pull your resources to make a few traps really good, that might. Serve As you I well. said, just all decoys. You know, who knows? I know that's going to be really like fun to do. Is just like prioritize really like just the turrets, just the trip mines, or just the decoys for fun. I'm pretty sure there'll probably be triumphs for it too. You unrelenting. Yeah. All right, so we've I did on. that there in Gears of War, I remember. I remember, like, the first the decoy the was, mines, like, a cardboard cutout. <laughs> uh, and those are upgradable, if I remember correctly? Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. Cool. Uh, how far did those go? Like, what level? It'll be three? Three? Awesome. And uh, as I understand it, too, there's a pretty steep progression as they go ahead and continue leveling up. That scrap really ends up being worth it. They become more expensive, but, yeah, they also, like, it's not like a linear progression. It's more logarithmic. They, yeah. they kind of jump up in power. Yeah. But you got to keep them safe, too, right? The enemies, like, you, you might get an augmentation where, like, one of those big knights or big uh, fallen captains comes in and just smashes them. Yeah. And so you, you, you <laughs> yeah. want to try to keep the space clear. Yeah. A brig drops in from low orbit and that just smashes it into bits. Yeah. yeah. It's been known to happen. Who knows? Yeah. Now, in that instance, Ball balls. one of your defenses is destroyed. <laughs> yeah, Wait, what about the Shadow Legion, too? I just noticed one. that. Yes, yeah, they yes, you have to lose that. So oh, wow. Are yeah. they just and that's done for now? Watch out for with trip mines. You know, like I said, they have charges, and they will just, you know, they will go out on their own, but th that's why they're so cheap. You're going to have to rebuy them once you run out of charges. Yeah, and also, I think I saw a question in chat. I missed the name, so apologies to whoever asked this. Uh, is Scrap individual, or is it Fireteam wide? So it, we've got an interesting way of doing it. So the, the fire team earns scrap together, mm -hmm. but you each get to spend individually. Oh. So, so you can't mess up 
uh, your, your fire team uh, mates by like overspending. You've got your own little yeah. stock, your own little wallet, yeah. of purse uh, of scrap to spend. Uh, so you can coordinate if you want, or you could just spend how you see fit to help the team. Yeah. In general, like anything you purchase mm. is going to help. Yeah, as someone too. Like, oh, the there's the unstoppable you know, ogre that I was just wave, saying. Wave-based defense games. There we go. Um, it was just one of them. When it comes to the upgrades, I imagine, like you were saying, it's pretty logarithmic. Is there a feeling of wanting to, instead of getting, you know, three level one tur three level one turrets, get one level three turret, for example? Like, is that power gain kind of the one you want to be chasing if you're pushing those higher levels? I think it's All of them level three. three. <laughs> yeah. That's the power. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> they yeah. would go for it. It might be better to spread out the. Yeah, that's true. The damage, but like a lot of that's going to vary, like which the augments or which enemies are coming in yeah and you're not going to be able to control that you're just going to have to react like it might be yeah. this might be an easy wave of just some thrall yeah but it could be a bunch of exploder shanks too yeah, <laughs> yeah. we may um, Tom, who would put a bunch, a bunch of exploder shanks into a wave who on earth would possibly be responsible for that <laughs> you, you can blame Noah. I, I you can blame me for drop pods you can, you can blame Noah. <laughs> i've done a lot that <laughs> everyone who's spoken to their therapist about cabal drop pods you know, to go ahead and <laughs> that directly to tom you can follow him on twitter uh right now oh no yeah <laughs> Uh, Noah, out of, or pardon me, uh, Jerome, out of curiosity too, when it comes to kind of the seasonal story and where this fits in. So again, we're digging our heels in, fighting against the witness, just sharpening ourselves. The next step pretty much is just to go ahead and hold out for as long as we can in preparation for that next battle, I'm assuming? Absolutely. We're, uh, we're waiting points. for Crow to essentially build a bridge in concert with uh, Mara, with help from Osiris and others. And uh, so it's really the universe is on Crow's shoulders. Yeah. And uh, Yeah, while we're playing I Guardian can, games. We couldn't imagine anyone better suited yeah. for the task. Yeah. Uh, he, Crow has come a long way in a short amount of time. Yeah. And I think he deserves an opportunity to to show what he can do. Yeah. And I think he'll come through for us. Still uh, still has uttered one of my favorite lines. Yeah, we went ahead and chased him into the next into the into the, the astral plane. <laughs> well, I'm I just so shot beefy. At him until he ran away, but your way is better. <laughs> He's earned his spot. He's ready to go, obviously. Uh, all right, Noah, where are we at? What are, you, what are we looking at right now? So right now we're looking at one of our waves. I, like I was trying to say earlier, mm -hmm. we actually have a wide diversity of waves, like as we've seen with the Hive and the Fallen, that it's not just, you know, fighting Acolytes and Thralls every time we have different compositions. So this is a wave full of exclusively Ogres and Cursed Thrall. <laughs> cursed Thrall are nice because Oh, it God, imagine there's the a round where they just up. spawn a yeah, bunch of Shriekers. The time, cursed thralls, and Listen, it, it, are just the, the day Shriekers can float and move is the day I uninstall game, Destiny. Like within a millisecond, or they grow legs somehow and they just go... Yeah, I think they're really they're really dedicated to the Witness and you know I think they're also kind of stupid. So They're just you know doing what they what they know. I'm not brave enough to say that to an Ogre's face, but I respect you for being able to do so. So we're seeing another bonus objective here, actually, which bonus is there's going to be pyramid splinters that spawn. That's a great. Now where are they? I think there's one up behind you, Noah. Oh, the oh, thing right is being here. attacked. And then if you keep following it, what the flip? Leads you away from the space and <gasps> they broke the bridge. Can't find my missile. There we go. How dare they? We're able to get. <laughs> Able to get that ammo, small tiny bridge that served mine. no purpose really. Uh, that's right, that never hurts. So there's tension, right? When those splinters lead you away from the ADU, right? You need to kind of have uh, split your attention mm. in, in mm, very two interesting. Directions. Can we spawn yeah. our that's skimmers in this mode? Really Probably not, obviously. On. So for these critical, uh, not critical objectives, for these augments. They kind of uh, incentivize players to like leave the ADU and kind of have rules. As we see, we got Splinter Mines and you have guards that are guarding them. We have Clayton and Ashley doing that for me while I defend the ADU. And that kind of means that you have less people defending. Like the, the wave is still coming towards you, but there's things you have to do. And, th and those distractions, which aren't really optional, are uh, kind of what gives you that tension. Mm, and kind of that's a lot of nights. Crafting decisions. Like That's something I kind of wanted to go into, something that excites me. As yeah. somebody who's kind of seen how our seasonal meta kind of develops with things like Strand Titan and Solar over and over, yeah. I'm interested in seeing if interesting things come out of, like, Onslaught. You're not trying to stay alive yourself. You're trying to keep this ADU alive, which is a, you know, object of Threadling build. So, like, is Stasis going to be more useful? That chibi person made one. Uh, Ashley use Arc. Man. Uh, she's using Arc Souls, which has proven to be Thread really links. useful against the Fallen. Like, is yeah. Risk Runner going to be something people want to use? Or Trinity Ghoul or Sunshot? Oh. Don't fall we're down. Gonna, we're going to forget that happened. That's fine. Yeah. 
So also to my skill issue it comes to the build crafting element. I can probably imagine when you're doing the GM difficulties, like it's not just your own build you're worried about, but making sure you have that communication across to your team, across champion mods, across uh, element types. Like there's probably a whole heck of a lot to actually make sure you're keeping track of throughout this like, yeah. entire activity. There's a lot going on in the activity from a moment from a moment perspective. We have a bunch of different wave types, augments, you know, different squad compositions and different bosses as we're seeing and augments there. So really like build is king. Like you're still Oh shooting, shooting my bad god. Guys. Right, hello, Savathun Song. Magic, but it's all a matter of like how you use it in each situation. Like maybe you want something more offensive. When oh, you're now a boss, it's the claw of the witness. It's like all rip. these like uh, the, the fang, the claw. Actually, too, no, we're on that subject of augments. <laughs> the uh, so of the, of the witness. Cool boss <laughs> the foot of the witness. Yes. The Can you tell us a little bit about those? So of the witness. Well, that that one, that one's in. We don't bring that one out. What that does is that calls in turrets that will eventually come and help us out. If we call both of them, they'll all activate, and that serves to kind of get some heat off of you. Yeah. And just overall kind of help, like, these are level three turrets, you know, you see them in blue, they're looking really nice and spiffy. Yeah. And again, you were saying at level three, the fire Where are the fire also turrets? Like, fire I actually wonder if they can get to that point. Pieces. Like, we stole that from yeah. the arms but dealer. Like, those concepts. Scraps, so you're gonna need to save up a lot. Okay. Oh, I think roll the ball! No! 12,000 scraps altogether for, like, going from That's level like the one. number one can rule in Sabbath and Song and stuff. With a giant oh, trigger, you you roll fire. around the ball! No, 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 no. The void calls. But you didn't roll the ball! You could have stood on it, punched it. Okay, cool. Awesome. Man, this is going well, honestly. Tickled it. Uh, yeah, I will say, uh, especially after yesterday, we learned that Noah is one of the most dangerous to ever wield the two thumbsticks out there. <laughs> uh, to all the PvP streamers as well, go ahead and challenge him openly on the internet. Hey, I go yeah. flawless, you know, <laughs> check my KD. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I thought you were the gilded one. I, well, I don't want to brag, but as a four times gilded flawless, uh, right. I mean, I'll let you guys brag for that. Wow. Hey, I'm going to brag too. I got, I got Riven's Bane back in Forsaken. Petra's run, that was tough. You know, all my Riven's Banes out there, we know what's up. Oh. And Shadows. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, got it. There's, a, there's a, a chapter of everyone's dream journal dedicated to that particular time in their lives, obviously. I have the skill issue Drop title. The ID, they're saying. Perhaps. <laughs> I'll leave that up to him. That is his. Oh, I can do it. No, I'll do it. Check my rave report. Check my dungeon. Hey, I'm there, bro. <laughs> Noah is ready, honestly. He's prepared for this moment. Uh, let's see here. So new ADU, new location? Yep. Yes. Well, that's something I neglected to mention. So every time you do a boss, you will actually change locations, and let me just buy something real quick because I have money. But the, uh, the defenses you pick, like that you placed before in your previous locations, those will still be active. So that means that you building up your defenses over time. That you by Robo one. Why does most stuff wrong. in Destiny but can literally be described as throw ball at object? So you have Black a level three turret or level three ball. decoy. Yeah, because balls. That will actually help you out. Throw ball. Because be balls. The ogre from Monazaji. Throw ball. It's all about balls. It all kind of helps that feeling of feeling like you're the vanguard and. The last city, like you're helping to defend them. Ah, These are yes. are permanent and not just temporary. The like, you're really, really digging the trenches. <laughs> what? Are you having a stroke? Are you okay? Uh, we'll put that on the list of things that chat didn't see. We get a veto. <laughs> that's the one that everyone gets to forget. <laughs> Sorry, chat. But that the menagerie. Happen. Yes. Also, yes. Too, actually, throw ball. Uh, JR Bizzle in chat asks, uh, are the rewards going to be tied to the wave you get to? Now, I know Noah kind of mentioned this a little bit when he was referencing the coil earlier, but, you know, obviously there's a... a <laughs> me when I'm low battery? Ten, or pardon me, the 10 I would like to play the... the you know, what's the reward story? For you? So, in, in all the activities, every time you beat 10 waves and you beat the boss, you'll get a chest. Rewards. <gasps> every See? Wave, ah! Yeah, you get and then in the... So, five uh, chests? The challenge mode. There's a normal and the hard version of those. In the normal version, you'll get uh, you get a normal chest all the way until the last wave. You can beat the final wave. Yeah. You'll get double rewards. Oh, okay. Oh. And then if you play the, the hard mode, yeah. you get you get uh, additional rewards in all the ways. Excellent. Okay. And, and so like, there's some little surprises there too. We might have along the way that, that yeah. uh, at the end as well. Just to go like next yeah, for the ones that are really going to go ahead and try it a few times out. Maybe there's an additional variable thrown in there from time to time. Excellent. Yeah. Um, also, too, actually, uh, Kurt Jones 29 asks, how do revives work in this activity, both between normal and legend? So that's actually a great question. Um, as we see now, there is not. Oh my good lord! Like, I mean, oh, like, dude, like, there, there he is! I was wondering when he was going to show up. I, I can answer that for Noah. No, no, take down the tormentor. Um, <laughs> the, the way oh, that revives work is like 
In hey, the, actually, that's, uh, a, that's a good spot to hide. It can't squeeze yeah, in there. Imagine off. it starts, but like, crawling in there. Like, yeah. 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 I actually would, that would be the ter- most terrifying thing to see it do, okay. animation-wise. <laughs> yeah, you don't lose you any rewards. Every every set you complete, you'll get rewards. Yeah. But if you're halfway through a set and you fail, yeah, that's it. That's it. God. Just take your lunchbox and God. go home. Yeah, well, you can hop right back in the playlist. That's hop right back in with your friends and yeah. try again. Which is what I'm gonna do, frankly. Yeah. Honestly, like, I, like when when this was getting developed behind the scenes here, and was, we were kind of getting a sense of what Into the Light was gonna be. I gotta tell you, like, just the the I don't know the ability to just go ahead and keep diving back in, testing new builds. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has every single one of their loadout slots filled with some hyper specific loadout that I'm deeply in love with in its own way. And so I feel like this is the exact right time to go ahead and just continue diving in and just you know bolstering those those loadouts to begin with, with the Brave Arsenal, which again, we'll be talking about next week, don't you worry. Uh, but also too, is just get a chance to go ahead and really see how they can they can thrive in environments just outside of, you know, even as difficult as GMs can be. Find something that really pushes it beyond that standard level. That pushes to the limit. Yeah, and you're, you're gonna need to be ready for a lot. We're trying to throw a lot of variety at you, right? There's yeah. a few combatant factions that you're gonna be facing and the Fallen Hive that can randomly be in there when you start the mission. There's the, the, the multiple defensive locations, and there's like, the, the progression of the waves, there's augments, the, all these things are kind of working in, together in concert to like test your ability to coordinate as a team and in your build game too. Excellent. Uh, also too, actually, uh, Optimal Pickle in chat, wonderful name I might add. Ah, Pickle. Uh, is also curious, I know we just talked about scrap gathering obviously and how everyone kind of gets their own purse. Are you able to gift that scrap to other people or you just get your own purse as a result of it? You just get your own gift purse. Gift the scrap, yeah. but you can both uh, like if someone uh, places something else, you could upgrade it. Oh, okay, you Got can it. coordinate. Got it. Spend. They can drop the level two. You can upgrade, or they yep. can drop the level one. You can upgrade it to level two. Yep. Nice. Very good. All right. That communication is going to be. Uh, yeah, we wanted to keep it simple and fast. Like we, we didn't want to have like we did a lot of work to make sure it was as streamlined as it could be because currency can get complicated. If sure. Not careful about it. In the heat of battle, honestly, yeah, it's like a uh, sweeper yeah, bot. Whatever. Wants yeah. to open their wallet and be like, you got a five. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> can you break three thousand scrap? <laughs> a, can you <laughs> can, can you take <laughs> one hundred pennies? Yeah, go still help you out with that. In Gears of War, I remember you could also like give like uh, <laughs> points. You just yeah, like you guys are, are look at the like, person and just like press. I think it was like the Y button or something like that, and the, the thing I really just transfer the about other points. Like, you get lost in it is like yeah. this is just going to be a great place. Kind of surprised they didn't do yeah. that at least, and maybe. But like, I, I it's not really do, needed, obviously. You've got yeah you know, things you want to level up, catalyst like oh just, man, just like. Hop in on and chill. I, yeah. I do you'll, like you'll the amount really of chaos you know, that's here, like in this mode. I like it. I like it. The, the opening um, I'll give like my Rest more members, in depth <laughs> thoughts like once they're or, or, they're uh, done because sure, I'm, I'm, I'm like more. waiting for like another like big surprise win. or like when we get yeah, to like the higher round. Really like hard and other waves like you have got a bunch of guys coming down a hallway and yeah. you unload your supers, unload your, your ammo, and it feels awesome. Yeah. Really, like, you have that peak power fantasy. Yeah. It's also to uh, know you're getting some some cred in chat for your ability to dispatch champions. Uh, I don't know why people are asking about a bungee dev fighting champion mobs. I don't know if that's a reference to something, mm. but you'll have to remind us in chat. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I recall that. Oh, no, not the overload. Oh, oh, I know what they're talking about. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm that guy. I'll, dr- <laughs> I'll drop the bungee at. I don't care, man. <laughs> Check me out. I believe you, honestly. I envy that level of confidence. Yeah, I, I'd be dead. I hide in the background. I have my, my name in game is just Andy, and I hide amongst the, the field of other Andys with all of our little hash numbers at the end of our name, honestly. Though if you see the one with the dead man's tail, you you know that's me for certain. Honestly. Great weapon. One of my favorites, honestly. It's so good. It's so stylish. It's just like my favorite gun in any video game ever, honestly. It's really, really good. Uh, though, then again, we get along pretty darn well. Okay, so we're back on the pyramid ship. Yes, also every two. six waves, actually, you're going to... Six, thank Well, you. on the sixth wave of each thing, so six, 16, 26, 36, you know, et cetera. Okay. You will take the fight to the witness and have a cool little encounter that's, you know, it's it's it feels like an action movie. You're, I will yeah. say the only big downside down right now waves, with it going in uh, here is it seems like it just repeats you know, like the hallway, same and then there's an invincible like couple end, like room and designs and move on. instead of like keeping you like oh, and he uh, uh, like on your toes yeah, on always. like on the design. Actually, you know, Jerome from a from a lore standpoint, you know, from a mechanic standpoint, it's not a big deal, but I was I was just like catching that on too. like this appropriate challenge, but why are the Guardians able to go ahead and even head back into these pyramid ships? To go ahead. It took us a long time to gain that power. Yeah. And uh, now look, the, we got the, ten, plus 10 hype well, on the top right. Ways, right? Yeah. Uh, the witnesses' forces are much more able to access our space, as we can see, right? They're in Certainly. the middle of Midtown. Um, but we are also able to access their space. More. Ah, reverse yeah. Uno. So, um, it's a double edged sword, yeah. so to speak. 
They opened that door. Now they can't. Take That's it right. Back. The yeah. guardians are going to be in there, emoting and meddling and having a grand old time. <laughs> See, there we go. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and flex your raid emotes. It's all right. Let's get it out of the way. I say that bitterly jealous because I don't have any of them. Took the wave twenty-seven out. All right. Ooh. Oh my lord. Yeah, this is starting to starting okay. to get spicy out here. All right. <laughs> let's let's lock in, guys. <laughs> Sorry, we're just making it more uh, more theatrical. Yeah, we totally aren't trying at all. What do you mean? Supreme. Try. Get to wave I 50. I just know I'm going to turn a corner and there's, there's going to be the curse. All or nothing. Right there. <laughs> you see it. Oh, no. Cool. Computer went down. All right. I got uh, alt tabbed a little bit. Oh, alt tabbed. Alt tabbed. Okay. All right. Yeah. I was about to say, I was, I was oh, I got alt tabbed again. Uh, I was like, is that building out, yep, everyone, screen. Yep, also to, uh, just for everyone's awareness too, uh, we're here live in the dev environment. Uh, so what you're seeing is obviously a quick peek behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, we're obviously working off of a dev build right now. Nice. And doing the finisher appropriately on the thralls. My favorite is the like quick draw gun. <laughs> they got, yeah, they got one. Weasel. Yeah, I actually just bought it. I was like, I need it. The solar one that kind of does like, yeah. the, the twirl around like, his finger? Oh yeah. I, I was like, I need that, so. <laughs> I'll give up anything. I, I got it the, I think it was, was it Guardian Games last year where you got the chair to go ahead and just send them flying at a thousand miles an hour? <laughs> Sorry to be Never gets old. Yeah, absolutely never gets old. That so like that was a, and, is there every right type of champion I mean, in this mode? Because there was an I mean, overload and then an I mean, unstoppable, oh great. They don't really have the, the technically the world world first, but yeah. Yeah, we're the we're. It would be right, yeah. so mean <laughs> if they hearts. have on like no, round really, fifty like be for players, right? we want, two yeah, of each. For all of you to be able to hop in this again. All this at once. All yeah. Two barriers, two really overloads, and two unstoppables yeah, right at the end. That'd be so freaking mean. Uh, out there, all of our guardians, our community. Yeah. So but that's how like firefight and horde mode was like too. Horde mode in Gears War and firefight in Halo. Yeah. Oh, you know it's not gonna be easy. Obviously. Don't even get me started with the graviton. The graviton. The the gravity hammer. Brutes. Our friend right here is he used to be the best. The best decoy in the game, like better than all his other tiered variants, because there was a bug where only the broom would take any damage. And as we see, he's really skinny, so he was like basically nigh untouchable. Functionally immortal sweeper bot. Sweeper oh bot is OP. Oh my nice. god, that's a that's a that's a, that's a is, dead. Right? But it's just his broom. This time, it would turn out. <laughs> we fixed it though. Yeah, it's fair. All right. Yeah, we, yeah. Fair. It'll live on again. Another thing that lives on strictly in our hearts. Yes. Um, also, too, out of curiosity, uh, Vadar four seven seven in chat asks, uh, "Will there be like if you have just two people on your fire team and you want to go in solo, is there a private mode you can dive into this with?" I believe that you hop in the higher difficulties, you can do yeah. that. Excellent. Yeah. Very cool. All right. So everyone out there that wants to really challenge themselves, maybe uh, attempt to solo all fifty waves. Yeah. I think the theory is our running theory is that it's impossible. I think it's not possible. That's my charge. That's just with you. a can theory. A game. Here. By, like, obviously that's what solo means, but can you be yeah, legend no, solo? Someone's gotta do it. If my team someone's definitely gonna do it. I, not me. Don't look at me. While on vacation, so don't you dare be working. I think he's got that challenge cut out for him. See, as like, well. hey, I've learned not to underestimate. Like the arena is like always like in the same design. Especially, like it'd be like, interesting to kind of keep you on your toes and change it. That. That was they do that a lot with like certain modes, like the, even like the coil where there was. You know, except the coil had like I mean, honestly, some new ones, but still. Oh wait, this one! I can't peril, read it. So what, what's obviously, none of us want to do that. Oh, it's uh, the claw. Anything, the witness again. Another claw. Hands on April 9th. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm so excited to see like what strategies people come up with. Where's, As we see, we have another Where's the eye here. of the witness? Uh, where where's the nose of the witness? Where's the ear of the witness? And the hair that actually does a chunk of damage to the boss. Which, if you're looking at the mega at the health bar at the bottom. You'll see it does a decent amount. Where's so the amoeba the of the witness? Here, yeah. These are ways to do extra damage to them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. Great. Not too shabby. I am also, I'll say it again, I'm so bitterly jealous I don't have buried bloodline right now. Like, you're making it look so good. I was going to have to carry you. It's good. It's a good gun. Especially if you're on other subclasses. It's just free devour plus the catalyst. You get devour and weaken. Yeah, but demand. you get devour it's very easily with that, you know, with the, the orbs uh, and stuff. So, a champion mod, and I know it doesn't work like that, but I do have to give credit to anti barrier. But because it's every single barrier, it doesn't matter if it's a high yeah. shield, it doesn't matter if a if a taken Ooh. vandal goes ahead and puts their shield up, or if a hobgoblin goes ahead and, and cloisters up. Like it's just like I'm sorry, I'm just gonna keep shooting you right in the face. This is oh not God. how this works for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good job. Right, we're, we're at a stream veto Still moments, issue? obviously. Uh, no, no I'm sorry, but this shame you have to live with. That didn't happen. Are you sure yeah. you want to hand out your Bungie ID still? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. I, don't, All right. I don't back down. I'll leave it to you on Twitter. That's fine. 
I'll get cooked, it's fine. Yeah. Again, at our own peril, we underestimate. So is this, the, is this the final boss encounter in the pyramid for this particular wave? Yes, for this particular wave. I think we're on wave 30. Yes. Which means we're on our last, uh, our last yeah, wave, which is we we take go. the fight to the boss. I think it's definitely a, a little bit beefier than the last two bosses. Little, yeah. But we're going to victory lap and this kill it in one shot. Trial. Here we go. Oh, oh we go. slam. So, and also too, is that that, um, that dunking mechanic that does extra damage to the boss, that's just a, is that like a modifier that kind of gets randomly yeah. added with each particular what boss? Is that? One of those augments, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool. There's Wait, no guarantee you're going to get it necessarily. Huh? Nope. Even better. Excellent. All right. Guys, let's do the Evo. No. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's keep running. Huh? Words. Also, too, actually, uh, I, I saw a question pop up in chat. Again, I apologize. I missed the name. Twitch it, chat. It has fast, a new design to it, though. But Guardians for joining us. Uh, is there any kind of a timer present in this activity, or do you just get to dive in and take your time? The only timer is actually present in the purchase phase. We want to keep, mm. kind of keep that fast place flow going. Yeah. Otherwise, we just have the timer ticking up to see you know, how long your session has been. But, uh, I want to know about yeah, the weapons, we, dang it. Not, we're not counting and Wait till next like, week. To beat a whole wave or something. Yeah. The, the only real fail condition is, 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 is the fire team alive mm -hmm. and is ADU still standing? Got it. Okay. And again, once the ADU is gone, that's it. That's it. Okay. You yeah. lose on wave one somehow. That's yeah. it. Generally, right. we want to be pretty clear about a failure condition. We want to stack. Yeah. A bunch of like, like, oh, you have to. That's do fair. There's like a A and B and a C, not nothing like that. Okay. And again, you're only defending its one ADU that kind of will transition. Forward. Only the current ADU. It will keep, it will move with you. Got it. Okay. Thank you. That's perfect. Uh, also, to chat, I see you asking for information on the loot to to show us what weapons are on the way. Tune in next week. We'll Damn it! You try it again. Effort effort, effort acquired. You know, you know the the the, the efforts. Yeah, Shax is. Um, Maybe they'll forget that if it's not. If you go not, into the lore, it's Shax not is next week Tuesday. With, um, some folks, some characters from the past. That's right. Yeah. And also opening up his private reserve. Zimmy. Uh, thank you so much for the two months. Yeah. Thank you. Thank so is, you. Is, is this something Shax has been sitting on for a while, or has he been working on this behind the scenes? Well, there there've been some some weapons that. Uh, have been frowned upon in the crucible. Sure. Yeah. And uh, but now's the time to bring those bring those out. Yeah. Anything Vanguard that... outlawing stuff is not something we have time for at this point. Exactly. Yeah. And if it uh, if it's dangerous, now's the time to bust it out. All the better. Obviously. You know, yeah. high risk, high reward. That's how I see it. And we, if anything, are facing down our biggest risk in the witness so far, obviously. So making sure that Shax goes ahead and opens those coffers, uh, nothing short of generous, I'll say. Just. Do you have improved uh, ability regeneration right now, or are you just that good? No. Uh, that's what, I feel like you you're not you're hearing that. me. I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are those you coins? That once no or twice, actually. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe plays an unhealthy amount of destiny. Sometimes I will. It's probably something else sometimes. for like Often turn in material or something. Work and immediately I'm like, okay. I think there was oh, a one there, Noah. Oh, by the way. I'm not sure if you saw that. Uh, that's, but I immediately get on and play. I'll, I do raids and dungeons. I, I mean, I've been doing a lot of the coil recently. Question is, is this yeah, going to stay I, uh, after the my, final shape? My dad and I end up playing this game a lot, and so basically every single day after work, it's oh, just cool. like us texting each other, being like, hey, so when, when are you hopping on? When are you done with dinner? That's fun. <laughs> I imagine we'll probably more so do the easy modes, but I've got my, my Nightfall crew I'm sure I could dive in here with. Although, honestly, I think at this point he's, he's more loot paid, my dad, than any of us, so I think he'd have no problem diving in here. That's awesome to hear. That's what Destiny oh, is all about. Oh, now the enemies right? are getting beefy. Yeah, bringing people together. Yeah. So beefy. <laughs> all right, that's getting pretty intense. Nah, it's fine. Uh, let's let's see. Out of curiosity as well, uh, I'm not sure if we can mention this one, but is uh, Tom? Is there a light level increase within to the light, or is this still at 1830? I believe it is. It is at the current power. Current power. Cool. Yep. All right, that hasn't changed. Thank you, Nikki Knight. Yeah, thank much goodness much. they're not oh, increasing the power uh, level like that. That that's not content, okay? You know, increasing the power every season or every update or whatever. I was on five thousand. Okay. Oh yeah, see, there's triumphs. So. Oh, too late. Wrapped for cash. Wrapped for cash. You you got uh, in the narrative, narrative department. You, honestly, that yeah. is. I want to say obnoxiously good. It's like it's always like man. We appreciate that. You guys are just stealing our job. <laughs> want to write tweets? No. Wow, again, this is super toxic. We Guardian spawn killing the the hive so in their spawn. They won't even leave them leave the spawn. I thought they were gonna patch the the, the <laughs> spawns in this map. Run. Right, Man, yeah, yeah. for the sake of the developer yep. tools, we went ahead and just swap that over just yep. so folks can get a, a look. You know it's getting harder when uh, 
Noah stops flexing. I know, right? Yeah. He's actually okay. Having, uh, There's a lot going on, you know. There is. Like, yeah. <laughs> Fairness, and I think also too, this is something we sort of touched on yesterday when we were doing our initial playthroughs. But uh, especially when you get to these higher levels, and it's not just kind of the you know the, the proverbial, comparatively speaking, walk in the park that the first few are. Like, you really got to keep your comms crisp with your team. You got to make sure that you're really aligning, um, not even necessarily <laughs> what your, does your champion mods, but maybe sending your scrap to one part to really go ahead and stymie the bad guys there, so you can focus your attention, your abilities, your supers on another lane. Um, actually, also, too, to that end, uh, obviously, the, the, the you know, pyramids have been doing some Mouch, terraforming. Get but, it. Um, you know, Tom, when you guys were building that Damn activity, it. how are you guys going about even oh. changing these maps? It looks like you guys have changed the architecture in some pretty significant ways. Uh, yeah, oh, so, skill issue. so when we looked at these maps, right, we want to have, like, a bunch of, bunch of distinct lanes for the enemies to kind of, like, attack the ADU from, and they give you, like, these fronts that you have to divide your attention yeah. across the team. So you really have to be like, oh, they're coming from the left, they're coming from the right, you take yeah. this way, I take that way. Yeah. And, yeah. like, uh, a lot of times in, the, in the, these maps, they're great for PvP. Yeah. But they didn't have the lanes we needed, and the artists and the designers working together, like, oh, like, what if, like, the pyramids Mote. Yeah. just, like, evaporated this building right here? Yeah. <laughs> and it was like, great, let's do it. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and that really, we, so we had to open up some, some, some channels in here, and, like, that, you know, we got the great, you know, fictional context where we can be like, no, it's yeah. forces. It's not, you know. Yeah, it's not Todd. Yeah, sure. <laughs> like, it, it, see, like right, that concept two, I'm, I'm is what I've been saying though is using PVP uh, maps no, for PVE for content. Gameplay segment. You must re return from your throne world. I think I performed pretty well. I think I, yeah. I'll be the first to agree with you, especially because I don't want to have to face you down in this activity. I want your help, honestly. When yeah, we'll just one v one in yeah. Crucible sometime. Yeah, and also too is I think uh, I, I think we can say that, but this is going to happen. We maybe won't say where, but this isn't the only location that players are going to have. Yeah, there's a lot available. Right. Yeah, there will be more than that. Wait, why? Obviously, uh, Noah, welcome back from the th throne world. It's good to see you. I got a lot of tithes. Wait, what did you they know, say? I'm feeling like I feel like Eris and I are comparable right now. So you're going to turn into a hive? Never mind. I don't want. I don't want to attempt turning into a hive god. That's fine. We'll leave that for your. That's own the next experience. Adventures. Obviously, that's true. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but no, Noah, thank you very much for taking us through that. Yeah, uh, thanks and for having me. Of course, for everyone here in Twitch chat, thank Wait. you for joining us. But before we go ahead and head on out, uh, you know, we obviously this is just kind of the first look at what's to come in Destiny 2: Into the Light. Again, as a reminder, what did you we're say? Be doing three streams showing up. All of this content that's going to be coming out available to all players. Uh, and of course, before we go ahead and head off. Uh, you know, Tom, you guys have all worked so heavily on this activity. Uh, Tom, we'll start with you. When Onslaught releases, when it gets in players' hands on April 9th, what are you most looking forward to? I, I really want to see what players do with the defenses. I want to see, like, yeah. what, what their strategies are. I know Noah's got his strategies. I've got mine. Maybe mine are a little less developed than his. <laughs> um, and, and just to be able to, like, see... Also, it's a great time to get back in and play. It's yeah. going to be a great time to play Destiny. I need like, to slow down. Like, it's just, rewards. like... It, um, I, it's, it's gonna be I'll have to go back, back and see what they said. Like but sons. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, uh, Jerome, as someone who's gone ahead and helped craft the story to bring this to life, obviously, to make sure it fits into the Destiny universe so well, uh, what are you most looking forward to when this release is on April 9th? Uh, first of all, people getting absolutely hyped out of their minds for Literally, the final shape. And I want to see the hype, reputation hype. This. It's a kind of a different strategic calculus yeah. than we've seen before. So I want to see how the uh, players innovate and uh, deal with this new challenge. Strategic calculus. I'm going to file that one away. That's the, the narrative team, everyone. Jeez, just making us all look bad. Uh, and of course, Noah, you know, you've, you've helped brick by brick put this together, this brand new activity. Um, you know, as someone who's obviously spent a ton of time playing it in addition to developing it, you know, when it gets out into the wild, when you've got the chance to play it with your friends, what are you most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to just getting my reps and seeing how far we can get, especially on Legend, get extra rewards, have extra difficulty, yeah. just have fun with friends and trying to see, like, like Jerome was saying, like, what builds arise, like, what cool stories Thread come links. out of playing things like this. Like, we saw you can have a big Tormentor show up and, like, yeah. all these different things, those little emergent moments are what really makes Onslaught special now, at now, the end of the day. Yeah. And how I'm many really maps? proud of what the team and everyone has done. Like, I'm a very small part of a larger team. Teams are way better than Heroes. Yeah. And, You're here. you know... Everyone has done such a great job building Onslaught and just curating stuff for Into the Light. I'm so excited for what's going to show up in these next live streams. Awesome. Yeah, and thank you guys all three for being here today to represent the team and help us kind of, you know, show this first glimpse at Into the Light to all the players out there. Obviously, it's pretty great to have you guys here bright and early in the morning. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Yep. All right, everyone. Well, I believe that's it from us here at Bungie HQ. As a quick reminder, Aww. again, we'll be back next week at the same Bungie time, same Bungie place to show you some even more content about Into the Light, including some returning Guardian favorite weapons, which you may have gotten a glimpse of today, a brand new look at an all-new social space as well that you can take your fire team down to, and even more information uh... about upcoming rewards. Before we obviously send it off, I want to again thank our guests here for joining us today, to the entire Destiny development team who behind the scenes right now is working on this content, bringing it to life for all of us. Thank you all so much for your hard work.
to Clayton and Ashley, our play testers in the back. Who went what do you mean new social space? Team. Getting some waves. There we go. Thank you very much. To the amazing team of producers who are here putting on the show, thank you all so much. Genuinely, it's amazing to have all of your assistants. Uh, they have the distinct difficulty of making me look good on camera, so believe me, their work is cut out for them. And to our team of moderators in chat, you're the real heroes. Thank you so much for your time. Island Army, but thank you so much the for the meantime, 33 again, months. Reminder, we'll be back next you week legend. at the same time and place hey, to thank show you, you. More content. But until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you all star side. Are we getting the old tower thing? Hey, listen, you know what I said. Anyways, I need to go back. Well, How this many? is going to happen. We maybe won't say where, but this isn't the only location that players are going to have. Yeah, there's a lot available right. to them. How many? Damn it! Dang it! We won't say how much. Yeah, there'll be more than that. Oh, man. I wanted them to say something. Well, okay, so. I I like this. I do like it. It's it's pretty much a horde mode of what we've been saying for a while. But here's the thing. Um Is this staying and is this going to be something permanent? I feel like they should make this a permanent mode that continues to evolve. Because we do need another core playlist that is innovative and unique and where you could just add new maps and like change some of the you know stuff maybe add more um defenses you know start adding um new enemy types and stuff like that um and i've been saying this for a long time too that taking the pvp maps and making them be able to be used for PvE content is a really smart move of recycling what you have into multiple, like, you know, modes and, and experiences. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think that, obviously, like, when it comes to the loot, we gotta see how the loot turns out. Uh, obviously, we'll, we'll see that about next, uh, next week. And then the whole new social space, I think that we're going back to the D1 tower. I absolutely think that we are. Um, I mean, I don't want to get my hopes up that much, but having the tower, you could see it in the concept art, was really done on purpose. Like, that is a on-purpose selling point kind of concept art right there. Uh, and it's free to play, so it's all like... You know, this is stuff that's, like, if it would this would stay, it would make sense if it's something that, like, a D1 tower being back. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Um, I, I just think that Onslaught could definitely be something to evolve over time. They need to do that. They need innovations! Like, the last time we had a huge in innovation was Gambit, and they're giving up on it, sadly. Uh, even though I, I've talked about what, what the, I feel like they could have done to try and keep its attention, but... I mean, for a free update, it's interesting. Obviously, like I said, we, we get, you gotta see what the loot's all about. Like, how much loot, if, it, if it's all old weapons, or is there gonna be some new weapons... Is there going to be, you know, any exotics? Or is it just going to be strictly legendary weapons? I feel like the whole separating into, like, three different streams is like... <laughs> like, come on. Come on. Just tell us all of it. Especially if it's, like, all combined and, like, and it's just like, oh, it's, you know, a decent amount, but not, like, a ridiculous amount, which we already knew that, but I see what they're doing. They're building up the hype. Is like the reputation but i don't know i don't know i like i genuinely have been wanting for a uh a horde mode and i i even said that i would be fine with them using pvp maps i'm curious on how many other areas they will have though and again is this going to be something that will stay and if it's going to be something that they will evolve over time that's what I want to know. So. 
I don't know. I don't know. I, th I, I genuinely think that I have my hopes, but I'm not going to have my expectations too high. It looks fun. I like it. I do like it. Do I think that it's going to be something that will be loved and give tons of attention? Like, I don't know, uh, like months later, even a year or whatever. We'll, we'll, I guess we'll have to see on how they treat it afterwards. But I don't know. What do you all think about it? What do you think? But regardless, I guess we have next week to talk about weapons. And I don't know what they're going to do for the third week. I guess maybe show the social space. I, I have no idea. I'm so confused on like what the week three is going to be. But. Yeah. I don't know.